Hey guys, and welcome back to Ganji Plans. Can't believe it, but it is already time for May Plan With Me. Um, I guess I say that every single month, but you know, yeah, it's, it's another month and that happens. So I went, went ahead and picked sort of a color theme for the month, which is not so much one color as a washi tape and some markers that sort of match it. Um, these two go together. They're both from Michael's. I got the, these ones on Amazon and this is also from Michael's and it kind of matches. Um, I might pull out my uh, paper cutter and trim them because I've been doing that lately. Figure you don't have to buy multiple widths of washi if you can trim it. This month I'm going to be using again insert 33 from ganshiplans.com slash shop um, the grid monthly worked well for me um, and so I'm going to try that again before you know moving on to something else and then I'll show you my weekly uh, setup at least what I have picked out for this uh, month's worth of weeklies at the end of the video. Most videos lately I've started with the decorative stuff and then moved on to the practical, but I think this time I'm going to start by pulling out my future log here in my planner and filling out um, just obviously the dates and then everything uh, for my task list and uh, practical things and then we'll work on the decoration. Okay, so as you can see, there's a lot of stuff and actually there really are like a lot of events going on uh, more than usual this month and uh, just crazy. I mean, when I say more than usual, it's like it would be busy even if it weren't like the end of a pandemic. Uh, so let me see, I don't need these. Actually, these don't really match the color scheme, so I should put these away. What was the sheet I was looking for? I like never pull these out on flip throughs. These are the stickers I currently have in the back of my planner and probably don't need all of them. These guys I think are really cool. They're from Twin 16, but I like never use them. Possibly because I'm in a pocket size and I don't always have the space. Um, these little header guys are from Sweet Tea Sticker Co. These little weather guys are from Twin 16. These are from Twin 16. These are from Twin 16 and these little emojis too when I feel like I need to react to something keep those with me. Okay, here are a bunch of stickers. Um, I'm going to actually do a lot of, I think, sticker stuff this month because, like I said, there's like a lot kind of going on, especially weekends. So, for example, we're going to be taking some time off uh, at the end of the month into the next month. So that's why I figure I'll use this little arrow guy. Um, let me see. I think it's time to do some washi cutting. So here's how I do this. Um, first of all, let's very gently measure how wide this strip needs to be. Approximately approximately half an inch. So that's pretty easy. I just take the washi tape and half an inch is to like here. So just put it and it actually looks like this is about an inch wide. So I'll just sort of line it up with these lines here. And I only need a little bit. So it's probably more than I need. Just lay that down. Washi tape comes up and down pretty easily. And then uh, just slice and we're good. Okay, I was wrong. It's three quarters of an inch because I can't see things, I guess, or notice things. But let's just go ahead and tuck this up underneath. Uh, these Planner Kate stickers actually come up really nice and easily. Uh, let's see, let's do a little 
an even asymmetrical ripping. There we go. Tuck this up underneath. That's fun, right? And it is a little bit wider than the box, but that's fine. It's lining up with the top of the lowest row, if that makes sense. And also with the top of this box here. And we can overlap like this. Grab a, a card or something. I don't know what happened to my washi card. Oh, here it is. And do that one straight. guys are fun and I have not had a chance to use them very much. I think I got them probably like late 2019, early 2020. No, I must have gotten them before that because uh, I've used a couple of them. <laughs> These days, anything counts as a road trip, but I actually am driving a little ways to go visit my parents for a while um, and we're bringing the girls and it's going to be a good time. So that starts on the 30th I think actually but it goes into the next week so uh, obviously we're gonna have to like pack though I don't know if I have to put pack here as a to-do item uh, I'm looking forward to that I want to make sure that I get everything together before we go then let's see I've got these little sampler dots and I don't know if there's anything useful I can use I'm always checking the colors nah running out of the good colors. One thing I definitely want to remember is on the 16th, that's when my daughter turns eight months old. So we do her photo every month. It makes that look like the 11th, but oh well, maybe I'll stick it up on the top. Those ones from twin 16 are not quite as movable. If you catch it early, not too bad. There we go. Doesn't cover the number quite as much. All right, now I just have a pile of stickers. How does that make you feel? I wonder if these don't forgets are going to be useful. I think I might just carry this around with me. So then, have a birthday. It is my husband's birthday this month, and I think I'll go with a teal balloons. These are also from Planner Kate. Basically, as you can see, I'll get all of my stickers from like two different shops. I have a vibe. It's easier if everything planner related you own matches, so you can just mix and match together. And if I have a style, I stick to it. All right, there we go. I want these important dates to stand out. And then we've got, um, I don't know what we're doing to celebrate, but that'll be sometime this weekend. Then we've got Mother's Day, obviously, and I think that will just feature a little dot of some kind. I wish I had like a flower. I feel like that would look good, but um, let's do the yellow. Yeah, I don't want to do yellow. Green to the green. It's just gonna go here. Maybe I'll like draw a flower. No, that would look bad. But that's Mother's Day. And I don't think there's anything else that's like holiday-like. This just kind of gives me an idea at a glance what's what's important and what's coming up. Um, I'm going to do the same slicing technique with this one or this one? This one. And cover up the top. Cover 
uh, just sort of the first little bit here, and I'm just gonna tidy as you like. Remember which month it is. I'll do. And then this here, I guess, gets more of this guy. Picking up where we left off. It doesn't really look like it matches. It just suddenly changed from the end of that flower, but that's fine. Obviously, that's fine. Just go over there. Last month I covered this with a sticker, but that's not really the vibe that I have going on here, those same set of stickers. So maybe I will write something here. I have to pick a theme. Man, I'm so bad at picking theme words. If you guys have a theme word for May, or one that you think would apply to me, leave it in the comments below and then I can add this later. Uh, there we go, passing off the book. Um, I don't know if I really want to highlight any of these headers. Um, as you see, I have this project of gifts to buy. I have some other things I can put here, but I don't know if they're things that really should be on like the monthly spread. Uh, stuff about, you know, planning the trip at the end of the month or prepping for Gina's birthday. Maybe that should be what we do. Um, I feel like uh, I don't know what to do with things now because like last year there were no options. We just got takeout. But this time we should probably plan something slightly more elaborate. So weird. The, the world is changing and it's a good thing, but it's weird. Uh, so that's all I've got. I will probably come up with more things in my to-do list, as you always do. Um, but that is my monthly spread for May. Now, as promised, I'm going to be showing you what I've printed out and cut and folded and got ready for my weeklies. Um, as always, my weekly... Um, play with me video will be I believe this two two weeks from now so you'll get to see this in action but this is a brand new insert just released very recently probably a week or two ago um, from my shop it's insert 37 and so you see here it's a fold out checklist so you've got like a sort of generic grid page here for any kind of notes or context um, but then you've got your to-dos over on this side. And so the idea is you can fold this out, have everything else going on on the inside of your planner, and be able to see your checklist. You can also print it out on the other side. Like both sides exist, but I only printed this side because I wanted that. So this will be my weekly checklist and it will be visible at all times. Um, and then I've got these full page printed dailies. This is insert 22. There's two different dailies in my shop currently. Um, so I have them printed out for every single day. So I'm gonna have a page per day. And then um, on the weekend, I have this weekend daily, which, did I print out? I don't think I printed out the side that shows you what the number is. Um, but that is also a recent addition to my shop. I think that was from a couple months ago. But instead of having one day for that, it'll be two days on that one page and then it all fits nicely and then I move on to the next week. So that's the plan. Um, I will let you know how that goes once I get around to my monthly plan with me video or weekly plan with me video. I always like to at least do one or two weeks living in a, a layout before I like plan it live on camera because then I have some more information um, on how it works for me in ways that I'm making it work. So uh, leave your comments below. Let me know how May is looking for you. Is life opening up? Have you got your vaccine? As you saw, my uh, second appointment is on the 6th. So I am looking forward to that. Uh, yeah, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.